Well, I can't believe that this thing is available to the public. I truly can't. Now, this is a monster truck, an obviously very unbranded monster truck, by Frank the Tank. And you may know him for his maps. You may know him for, actually, a lot of the maps that were created originally for SnowRunner, like, way back in the beginning. And you may also know him for his heavy influence on maps like Truck Knight and many other maps throughout this game. Now, this is his first attempt at a vehicle, and I kid you not, he literally designed it in Microsoft Paint... And then, with the help of some other people in the modding community, ended up bringing it over to SnowRunner. Now, obviously right now, it is very, very, very untextured, but the reason why we're showing this, and we don't normally show mods in this state, but the reason why we are showing this is because he released it to the public. Now, normally a mod would never get released to the public in a state like this, but... This is sort of a experiment on Frank's part to see if this actually ends up making the jump to consoles. I don't know if it will. I, I have no idea if it's something that would. I mean, if we're going sheerly off of the fact that it's not branded, then sure, why not? But you never know. Now, he did say that there are textures planned for it in the future. This is not the forever look of this thing. Uh, not at all whatsoever. Now, we're gonna go with the max power engine. You have three different gearboxes. You have the crawler gearbox, the truck knight gearbox, which is sort of the balanced one, and then you have the mud gearbox. Then, you have a wheelie suspension and a sort of standard suspension, although he calls it a short suspension for reasons unbeknownst to me, really. And then, you have the, uh, you have a bunch of highway tires, which make no sense. And then, you have the 39-inch monster truck tires, 47-inch monster truck tires, and then the 79-inch ridiculous crazy boys um we're gonna go with the 47s for now and then we will mess around with some of the other options later on in the video now there's obviously no interior customization to be done so the only thing left for us to do is take it out and see how it drives now obviously it has a gigantic wing on the back so 100 it would be part of the like dude it looks like the wings from, if you guys remember the scene from the very first Cars movie, where it's like a group of, like, either three or four cars, I think it's three, show up and, like, one of them's got that gigantic, like, quadruple deck wing. It's very reminiscent of that. Now, granted, it doesn't have four decks on the wing, there's only two, but still. Now, let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it drives. Now, another weird, weird, weird aspect of it is that... When you don't have the all-wheel drive engaged, it's front-wheel drive. It's very weird. I, I don't know. Supposedly, that decision was made in order to make it do donuts better, but I don't know if that... Well, okay. I, I, I kind of see where he's going with that now. I, I was like, I kind of see where he's going with that theory. Now, if you guys have seen this thing on my streams before, you'll know that we did run this thing on one of the Truck Knight maps. However, I have never brought it out here. And I don't, whoa, jeez. I don't really think it's something that is going to be necessarily a very objective, useful truck. Unless you're trying to clear out a map's watch points in like two minutes, or rather two seconds. But let's see how it does over the jumps. Oh my god. Okay, it's, uh, it's, it's perfectly fine in terms of jumping. Yeah, jumping is not a problem for it, although pavement seems to be a little bit on its uh, on its iffy side. So you do have to be a little bit careful when you're on the pavement in it because these monster truck tires don't really like pavement all that much. Although I gotta admit, the really quick steering ratio somehow helps it out a bunch on the pavement. Now, let's... Wh uh, bruh, you can't really do minor steering corrections, though. I mean, you can, but they have to be... They have to be very immediate because this thing literally whips itself around like nobody's business. Now, fortunately, we were in a position there where we could kind of use the momentum and the force to our advantage. and We could just kind of like flip it back onto its wheels. But I don't know if that would be every scenario with this thing. I, I doubt it would be every scenario with it, frankly. Now, whoa! whoa! And be careful, counter ste steering! Ooh! You... Stop it! Would you just drive and, like, behave? This thing does not want to behave at all. Now, there is one jump that I really want to take it off of, and then we are going to attempt one of the obstacle courses in it, but 
I feel as though it's kind of one of those vehicles where, like, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Like, you're going to be all about it or you're going to think it's the stupidest thing on the face of the earth. Now, granted, I think what makes it great is how stupid it is. Now, granted, I know some people may be like, well, that's an odd way to look at it, but... Really and truly, like, is it, you know, is it something that's going to be functional and objective-based gameplay? No, not at all. Unless, again, like I said, unless you're looking for the most comedic way ever to explore a map or clear watch points, you're not going to be using this thing to pull trailers. You're not going to be using this thing to, you know, deliver materials. It's just not what this thing is for. However, when it comes to stuff like, turn! Oh my god, you... If you could turn, that would, like, that would just be the greatest. Like, that would just be the greatest. If you would, like, if you would turn... No, stop it! Oh, my God. Go, 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 Up and over! Oh, my God! Well, we may have just buried the entire suspension into concrete. Just that... I love how it deformed the headlights. Which, by the way, they work. Which is another hilarious aspect of this truck. I wonder... I'm thinking about this right now, and I feel like since we're here, since we're here, it would be terrible to not attempt this going the other direction. Like, I'm kind of like in this. You know what? Let's just see. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like. Oh, go, go, go! <gasps> no way! That's the first vehicle I've ever seen do that jump backwards. I don't think anything else has ever done that successfully. Now, granted, it's the first vehicle I've ever tried it in. But it's also the first vehicle that I've ever figured would have the ability to actually make that jump going backwards. Well, now that we've done that, I feel like we could just recover back to the garage now and go ahead and throw the gigantic tires on it. Because really, the rest of the track, if it can do that, the rest of the track is like no big deal for it. Now, let's try the mud. Now, it's, it's such a ridiculous over-the-top vehicle, and I feel like people that are all about playing the game in a very serious manner are not going to be about this thing but you know this is one of those vehicles where it's like you know if you ever wanted something where you could just relax and just throw a vehicle all over the place and not care and not worry about it this is that vehicle this is that vehicle like to the utmost degree this is that vehicle it, there's no way there's no way that you couldn't have fun with this thing Unless, I mean, maybe unless you didn't have much of a sense of humor, I feel like there's no way that you could drive this thing and and go, that's absolutely not fun whatsoever. Now, granted, there may be someone out there that drives this thing and goes, that's no fun whatsoever, but I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, look at this. This is going through everything. Although, even with the gigantic tires, you have to be very careful about what you hit and how fast you hit it. Because if you hit it going too fast, you're going to wind up in the stands over there. And it's not going to be a good time for you. Because I do not like winching this thing back onto its wheels with the normal size tires. Much less with these behemoths. Although, just for science... Oh, well, actually... Can you- Yep, it can just go over that. That's hilarious! Oh, that's so great. See, the thing is... The thing is, with tires this big, there's so little chance of it touching anything but tire that you really never have to, like... You really never have to worry about it. I mean, look at this. You're never gonna touch a hard part of the vehicle. You're just not. Oh my god! Uh-oh. But now we're probably about to experience one of the biggest issues of having tires this big. Actually, actually, we're fine. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of driving a RC truck. That's what this feels like. If you're looking for a RC truck experience in SnowRunner, here you go. That's what this is. And I feel like some people are going to be like, no, 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 no. There's, there, It's nothing like a RC truck. It, I don't know. I mean, if you've driven any of the really fast ones, this for some reason... Oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna jump the whole mud pit. Oh, it jumped the whole mud pit! First vehicle I've ever seen jump the whole mud pit. Again, this thing has been doing a lot of firsts in this video, at least for this map. Oh god, it's gonna... Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be bad to fit across the bridge. Easy. Oh god. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Easy. The last time I took Monster Max through here, it was not happy and I fell off. 
And so, I'm trying not to do that. Okay, we made it! That's actually a big deal for me because the last, like, two or three times I took Monster Max through there, I did... Stop it! Oh my god! It starts grabbing the ground, like, with the edges of the tires, and then just starts, like, flipping itself back and forth. It's... It's very strange. It really is. Oh! Yep. Could it... Whoa! No way. Back onto those tires! Thank you! Thank you! And what's beautiful about it is the fact that we haven't really even picked up all that much suspension damage at all doing this entire thing. And I feel like that's the biggest thing that you would do, or that's the biggest thing that would happen if you were taking anything else. I mean, even anything big through here is that, like, you'd be dealing with tons of suspension damage. Now, I'm gonna see if I can just blow through that. Because I'm in what I'm in... Go! Um, yes, actually. I... Whoop! Are you okay? No, you're not. No, you, you're far from okay, aren't you? It's like, I'm not okay! I'm like, yeah. I can see that. I can absolutely, plainly clear as day see that you are not okay. Now, let's get you back onto your wheels and hopefully you'll be slightly more okay again. Although, I don't know if that's going to happen with quick witching. Oh, yes it is. Yes it- Whoa! What was that? I've never had that happen before. It got back onto the ground, and then something catapulted me back up into the air. I don't know if that was a physics glitch, or if that was something with the tires. That makes no sense. I mean, it was funny, but my god. Like, stay on the ground. Okay. We're running again. Go forward. For some reason, it wants to stay in reverse no matter what. All right, go forward. Oh, this part's going to be bad. Oh. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to send this last part. Come on! Wow, that was not as big of a big send as I wanted, but it actually rolled all the way over all the rocks, and so it, like, it made sense anyway. I mean, it worked, but if you guys enjoyed this look at this very strange, yet... Very, very fun, now publicly available, work-in-progress monster truck. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.